All right, all right, all right. Uh, here we are. We are in Lillington, North Carolina. About to tour a brand new model right here. This is a champ the Champion Home Center right here. Their plant is actually right here behind us as well. It's pretty cool what they got going on. You can actually come in, look at these homes. And uh, yeah, they've got it set up where you can kind of customize it. on this house. I will say it's a lot of cool things to talk about on this one. Uh, we'll get into more as we get inside. But I will say as we walk around here, first off, show model. That's why there's no skirt or anything back here. But yeah, so this house, one thing they was just telling me is, is cool is like you can option different colors and stuff like that don't get me wrong but it's kind of built uh one way and one way only and since they're able to do that it comes at a great price point we'll talk more about that at the end but also what's cool is this house can be built as a hud or a modular home now that's there just for to keep the show model cool uh these homes come with central heat and air obviously but here's our back door And we're looking at, uh, I think it's close to 1,500 square foot. So think about that. If you was to get this one as a modular, 1,500 square foot, it's pretty cool. Most of the time, not all the time, but a lot of the modulars I tour, they're just huge houses. And they're beautiful, don't get me wrong. That's why I love to video them. Uh, but you know, sometimes they're just a little too big for the couple that's just starting out or whatever. So uh, this one's great. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. So it's, it's it's it comes in at a great price point it's top notch uh very nice anyways let's go ahead and make our way in y'all please drop a like that's the one thing i'm gonna ask in this tour if you would do that i would appreciate it so much thank you and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy these types of tours notice we got some different vinyl here or just different colors than what we have down there all right let's walk in So if you're new to the channel, what I do is I just show these homes, I talk about things I see, but I always like for y'all to comment and tell me some things maybe that I don't mention. But like for instance, as soon as I walked in, what I'm noticing is like the dark and the light, and I'm a big fan when you tie those two together. Plus you got some white cabinets over there in the kitchen, so that's a whole just really cool area in its own. But I notice this flooring is really bright um kind of a brighter color it's not like white where you're like it's gonna show a lot of dirt and all that kind of stuff it does have more of some lighter tones i guess you would say give you a nice shot of this trim you're gonna see this around all the windows and doors This is that floating entertainment center that I've seen in a lot of the champion homes over, well, probably since starting about this time last year. What in the world we got going on right here? I mean, I know it ain't a good idea to just stick your finger in there. You can tell though, this is not like any type of wallpaper or anything. Look, I'm showing you the dining area. I'm not coming over here just to get in front of this uh, air conditioner. <laughs> woo! That feels, woo! No, it's actually pretty cool in here. Uh, but it is getting warm outside. Yeah, it's a beautiful dining spot. Show you a good look right here at our floor plan. Electrical outlet on both sides of this kitchen island. Yeah, black cabinets, white cabinets, black top, white top, and you you know you can definitely option different stuff on 
on any of that on any of that now here's our sink now this is that perfect setup when you need to get them kids one time eat your cereal boy <laughs> i was talking about another house because the sink was over here it's gonna be kind of hard to reach them but right here i mean let go ahead keep i'm thinking of culling as i say all that i'm sure your kids never take forever to eat their food Nice double door Whirlpool refrigerator. All these appliances are Whirlpool. Let me show a point out right there is our dishwasher. It's your data plate. And, uh, but you can move these shelves up and down. All right, the microwave's over here. I like that. But now, what is this? Oh my, oh, all right. <laughs> I, all right, so 100%, I had no idea. I mean, before we even look, what did, what did y'all think? I thought it's just gonna be, I thought it was gonna be a small pantry. So obviously you can tell by what I'm saying that it's not, it's very big, but how big is the question? Well. Have you ever seen that move? <laughs> All right, let's look at it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Cue the music, Bill. Oh. oh my goodness. I was thinking a little bit of a smaller home. I'm like, you know this thing, probably just got your average pantry, which is fine for this size house, but What in the world? They threw us for a loop right there now. All right, on with the regular tour. Let's go right in here. This is where the back door is I showed y'all. Got our water heater there, furnace there. Looks like an electrical furnace is what we got in this house. Washer and dryer location there. And let me mention this. I don't know, most of the time though, you could you could option these in, like if you need a gas furnace, it, you know, whenever they build your home or whatever. Um, maybe I'm speaking out of line there because I'm not 100% on that. I would think that would definitely be an option. I think gas furnaces are probably a little more. Mm. The last time, it's been years since I was kind of selling, selling the houses and kind of knew all that information, but I think the gas ones were a little more expensive. Main bedrooms right there to our right. So let's go down this way, look at some bedrooms. So we got a bath. Plenty of electrical outlets in this uh, bedroom. All right, here's our bath. Ooh, hadn't seen these things yet. Like this in the faucet. This is my third house to video here. All these, their homes are spoiling me. All these guest rooms and closets are very big. 
even on a house like this with only you know around 1500 square foot let's go ahead go down to the other end y'all be sure to stick around we'll get in some more information after this after we look at this main bed main bathroom try to provide some resourceful stuff for you maybe uh are you over this way if somebody's over this way drop a comment i'd love to know uh, but maybe you are and you're and I want to know some more information. I'm going to try to cover some of that for you. One thing I'd like to mention, though, in the beginning when I was talking about how you really couldn't option stuff in or option stuff out, it's really just because on this particular model, everything is optioned to its highest level like you can't really option nicer that's like we're finna see here in this bath but it's not like you got a fiberglass shower and if you want to upgrade to a towel you can it's going to come standard with this tile shower now i'm sure there's different tile options It's gonna be in here. Oh. Wow. Fellas, I just found your closet. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Now I've always told y'all that I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of the white tile, especially like that gloss, but I'm becoming, I'm starting to like this more, especially when you have this, this light colored or, you know, white, whatever you want to call it, grout, because it really makes that tile pop, that darker tile, you know what I'm saying? Um, now, if you took this tile and you had a darker grout, I don't know if I'd really be into it, uh, but I like this. Is it still top the white gloss? In my opinion, mm, probably not. But this goes really well with like the countertops that we see here in the bath and even those on the kitchen island. Nice window up there. I love this. So we're finna get into some more of that information. Before we do though, y'all, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And if you, there we go. If you will, share this video. I would appreciate that a lot. Get one of these ear picks and uh, let's get into, <laughs> just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. Let's get into more information. All right, everyone. So that was model name. I hope I'm saying this right. I'm looking at the computer. The Norlton, the Norlton. N-A-R-L-T-O-N. 1,493 square foot, three bed, two bath, loaded. And one of the best pantries that, man, that tour would have been so much better if I'd have known that had been there, right? Or maybe it wouldn't have been. You know, you ever thought about that, huh? Okay, so this was a house that I toured recently. I also want to mention they have a bigger version that uh, is like, I don't know, I mean, it's, it's over... 2,000 square foot, it's, it's part of the, this is the ironclad, um, that's kind of the series. There's a bigger one there, I did it as well, but it's already been posted, it's on the main channel. This one I kind of initially thought I was gonna put on the main channel, but then I thought this is a perfect one for that affordable price point is what I really wanna focus on on this channel. Also, the reason I'm saying that is because that big one, now it's more expensive, but it's a lot bigger. So for the square footage you get, it's at a great price point as well. So you can check that out. I'll try to remember to put the link in the description for you to that video. Uh, but yeah, this one right here is, you know, it's a house that has no wasted space. I'm sitting here looking at the floor plan, and I mean, you know, you I definitely can't say it's basic because it's not basic, but it's just, it doesn't have things that like, 
I would think this video is going to get a million views. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it is. It's what a lot of you are looking for and what a lot of you need. I know because I go to places all the time and I hear and, the, you know, I just need this, I need that. And I know this is it. So that's why I want to share it on here. Anyways, we'll have information in the description, links, all that in the description. Let's get into estimated retail pricing, that great price point that I've been telling you about the whole tour. You're like, Chance, tell them. Here you go. This is what's been provided to me, okay? This is uh, what they have there at Champion Home Center in Lillington, North Carolina. And this will be for at the time of recording. As time changes, material prices changes. And, you know, uh, also, you got to keep in mind, it depends on all the factors where this house is exactly going. This is just a range for you. Just a good general idea. And it'll be right here, right now, right up above me. Did you say that? Bill, that's a good one. Okay, so tomorrow night, Tuesday night, 6.45 Central, I have a new tour coming out on the main channel. And I haven't really decided if it's gonna be the Tuesday night tour or the Thursday night. Um, but there's a brand new series that I got to tour. Y'all, it's like nothing we've ever put on the channel. I'm telling you, you're gonna be in for a real treat. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, it's one of those houses you're definitely gonna wanna see. So come back, uh, just, I guess what I'm saying is stay tuned to that channel as well. Hope you all have a tremendous day, and I will see you on the next video. See you.